good afternoon. It's uh, almost quarter to six in the evening, afternoon, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I've just had one of those days where I woke up and just really didn't feel motivated to do anything. Um, but I have been downstairs and put the brakes back together on that bicycle. I'm actually going to go downstairs and take another photo of it. Um, my bag of bits and bobs are there that I bought up. Uh, what else have I been up to? I've been scrapping the circuit boards. I've uh, salvaged a few interesting bits and bobs. I got a bit bored with it though. No, <laughs> got bored with it. Yeah. Bad joke. <laughs> right. Uh, put a handlebar on this bike, but uh, I don't think I like it. <laughs> it just doesn't. This doesn't look right to me, but uh, we'll give it a go. got some brakes that I brought upstairs to put on it. Just hopefully I can reuse that rear gear cable on the other grip shift. Is it this one? So that one was at the front one. That's the front one. I had two or three boxes of random bike bits dotted around including that one so I've just tipped them all into one box. Because I was pissed off for having so many boxes kicking around. Uh, yeah, I've got got a right hand shifter for this. It's down here. I know where that is. It's around here somewhere. Probably underneath that rag actually. Uh, might help if the handlebar was actually straight. There we go. Right, so... I suppose I could grab a 9mm spanner in a little while and just take this gear cable off. Uh, I've got the tools up here and the crank. Although I've left the pot of paint I need at Mum's, but I do have paint here. And I can get another tin Thursday or go across and get a tin tomorrow or whatever. It's only 99p a tin, so I might as well have more than one tin. Keep a tin over at Mum's in case I do any work on bikes over there and keep a tin here. Um, I think I've got actually got some change in my pocket that I can get it with. Have I? Yeah, I have actually. Whee! I haven't got a. I need to sell a toothbrush. I don't want a fucking toothbrush, do I? I want a paintbrush. Could use a toothbrush, but I don't think that would work very well. <laughs> um, bum, 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 bum. I'm going to do Master's Tray in a bit. I've actually forgotten about it till I know. Um,. Looked across. Right. Oh, why do I get the feeling I've stood in his cat sick? <sighs> Where's the kitchen roll? I better clear that up before I do it again. I won't do that on the camera though, I've just got to grab the kitchen roll ready. Right. Hush up, you. Dating up my floor. Right, I've still got those to pack. I haven't done those yet, but they're all right sitting there for now. Uh, oh, I've got that paintbrush, but I usually use that one as d for a dusting brush for this. <laughs> I haven't got anything else. I don't have a little air compressor or anything that I could use to clean. I don't really want to use a vacuum cleaner. I've tried that before and ended up sucking things up the vacuum cleaner that I'd rather I didn't. Oh look, another box of bike parts up here. Actually some of them have actually got place, such as brake levers. Uh, but the rest, I'll just tip in that cardboard box in the uh, bedroom. And sort it out later. And is that a seat post I just saw in there? Uh, pardon me. Is that a seat post? 
and two seat posts. They look standard size though, so I'm not keeping my hopes up that they're going to fit. There's a bit of crap that can go in the bin. Where's the bin gone? There we go. Right. No, I'm not tipping the batteries in. There's another friggin' seat post. That looks standard as well. I get a feeling I'm going to be out of luck for seat posts. I need to get down to the recycling centre so I can uh, see if I can grab something that I can whoops, pill for parts for. Oh, hello. Got stem in here as well. <clears throat> right, at least the bike lights. Um, bike lights, bike parts are all. Well, the miscellaneous bike parts I've got all in one place. It's just where I've been working on bikes and uh, I just haven't put the parts back in the correct box or container, so I've just left them exactly where they are. At least if I know, well, if I can't find them in the designated tubs, at least I can just go into the bedroom and look in that box. Some things, like the stems, I will take downstairs and put where they're meant to be. What the hell was I going to do? I came in here for something. Oh yeah. I've actually got a seat pole in here. Ooh, and I've got another adjustable stem. I'm hoping will fit there. And I've got a couple of caps to go on there which I hope will fit. Lots of hopes. Uh, a few other knickknacks that I bought up. There's the single crank for the uh, bike in the bedroom. There's another seat post that I found down there. Again, that looks relatively standard. Is it? Oh, yeah. Miles. Miles too small. Yeah, they all are. I know they are. Oops. But... Yeah. I might even go try the black one, because I know that is. Well, the tyres have stayed up, so that's good. The tubes aren't punctured. Um, I'm just trying to think, because I've got to go downstairs again. One, to take a fresh picture of that bike. Two, to lock my bike in the shed. I'm just trying to think if there's anything I've forgotten I might want to bring up. Got air freshener. Rag. Rubbish. Right. Right, so I'm going to just disappear for a little while, hopefully not too long. Uh, I've got a few things to do. Some bits to find. I might just see what else I can bolt onto the bike in the bedroom. Uh, maybe swap the stem on this one. If the covers for that stem fit. I was going to put these blue outers on for um, brake cables. Or for the brakes at least. Black for the gears. Or I could go white. Or I could just go this sort of uh, glittery thing that I pulled off an old um, kiddies bike. And got some brake stuff in here as well. Here's those um, bits for that stem. One of them may have even come off of that originally, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to disappear for a bit. Welcome back. <clears throat> right. Well, I've done absolutely sweet F.A. <laughs> Uh, apart from fed myself and I went and got I just I didn't want anything apart from a portion of chips so I just went and bought a portion of chips. It's all I fancied so Yeah, I still got some boards there I'm gonna try and salvage some more capacitors from. Especially these large ones because they're weird. Instead of having just the live and well, your live in, live out connections, live and neutral, whatever you want to call them. They've got three connections on them, so 
wouldn't mind salvage, salvaging them just for the interest. I mean, that's all I've salvaged these for, really. I doubt I'll ever use large ones like this. Not unless I want to charge it up and zap someone with it. 450 volts. Ooh. That's a good brand as well. You see that? Nippon Chemicon. Good brand. Well, according to all the electrical engineers I watch on YouTube, they're a good brand, so... They're more of an expert than I am, so I'll take their word for it. <laughs> um, but to be honest, I've never known that brand to fail in anything. It's always been the uh, <clears throat> cheaper brands. That's what I was going to do. I've got a broken picture down. Can't fucking see it anyway, can you? Duh. Oh, it smells nice through here because my air freshener has gone off. Anyway, I st accidentally stood on, well, accidentally on purpose in a hump, stood on that picture. <laughs> so I've got to clear that up. I actually came in here. So I'm going to try and uh, salvage the capacitors off of this. Should be able to do it. I actually noticed in Mum's um, Toyota today that there's a um, CD changer underneath the passenger seat. The only problem is it's missing the um, cassette piece that you load all the CDs in. So it's just basically the um, box for it. You can't actually play any CDs. It's a JVC brand as well, but I'm not sure if we can get the re a replacement cassette piece. The door's open. You know the bit I mean, the bit you um, load, well I suppose however many changer it is, 5 CD changer, 8 CD changer, just load your CDs in and then load it into the machine and control the rest from the head unit. And, uh, yeah, it's not there unfortunately, not that we really listen to CDs in the car anyway, but it would be nice because I could load a bunch of CDs into one of those for mum. She can just flick through whatever CD she likes. Right. I haven't changed the stem yet because I need to find three more bolts. And I'm not sure if them two out of there are going to fit. I think they're a little bit smaller, so I'll have to have a look. Uh, fair. I'm eating some chocolate biscuit bars and they're quite oaty so that you get all the little oaty bits stuck in your mouth. Ouch. What have I got on here? Anything that I can tip out somewhere? Because I don't actually know if this tin's going to be much bigger to be honest. I was just wanting a slightly bigger container. Because at the rate I'm going I'm going to fill that up quite quick. Put the old satellite box down there but I can't get the board off. To get the uh, parts off. Right. Oh. <laughs> That's one way to get all the bits out of the tin. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done anything. Bollocks. <laughs> Shall we try again? Right. <clears throat> we'll try again. I haven't done anything to this bike apart from take the gear cable off. Which I don't think I'll be able to reuse because the end of it is far too frayed and... I might. It's a big, big might. Maybe if I can put a shorter piece of outer up the top here then it might compensate for what I'd have to cut off of the gear cable. Might. <laughs> no guarantees. I'll just have to try it and find out. Uh, da, 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 da. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't think he knows. I might sit here in a little while and do a bit more desoldering. That's a drape of soldering on, but I'm going to do the new tip in it. 
I've got a little branded soldering iron in the cupboard as well. But um, out of the two, I actually like using that draper. It's got the spade bit on it, or the whatever you want to call that tip. Now, I used to like using the pointy tips, but I've actually changed. I prefer to get actually bent it if you look. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but you can see the stem of it is bent. That does work. Which works um, pretty okay. Like I said, I could do with getting some tips because that tip is gone. But um, yeah, it does. It's alright for the sort of very little work that I do. I think I've done more desoldering than soldering. <laughs> right. Uh, da -da -da -da. Well, these tires have been inflated almost 24 hours, so they're definitely not punctured. Which is a good thing. Well, I'm pretty certain that tire is a little bit shallower on the front. It doesn't matter. Or it could just be because it's a different design of tread that is making it look. And the fact I'm looking at it at a funny angle. Oh well. I bought a seven speed freewheel up to put onto that. I'm not doing that this time of night though. I bought my gear cables back up and I've got a few other bits and bobs in that bag that I bought up. I still haven't got a seat post to fit. It's irked me a little bit because I was certain I had. I mean, I've got an oversized seat post in the bedroom, but that is far too big. Far, 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 far too big. I don't even think that's going to be big enough. That's what I hate about oversized frames. That's just far too big, otherwise I'd use it. That came off that giant... <coughs> bike frame I've got in the cupboard that's uh, got to go on eBay at some point yeah <laughs> it's about the same it's about the same actual same size as the um, seat tube there it won't actually go in at all it covers it so the diameter of that is probably a lot bigger but it's definitely a seat post I'll keep Ooh, I've got a decent seat on here as well hmm uh. Stinky little hole there, but that don't matter. What is, it? is that? A muddy fox? It is a muddy fox seat. Oh well, might use that one on here. It's a big mite though. I'm often changing my mind because I find something else I like better, so. Uh, still haven't found that fucking break. I've looked everywhere, in here around the bedroom, I cannot find a stupid thing. Another saddle here. I think that one's too holy. I may um, just take that clamp off because that's a nice, clean, non rusty one. And uh, chuck the seat in the trash. In the garbage, in the rubbish. And any other variation of that name that you can think of. Right. The uh, last place I remember having it was actually over here at the computer desk, but I've been under the desk, I've looked on all the shelves, I've looked on all that shelving, and I just can't find the poxy stupid thing. Right, oh well. No doubt it'll turn up at some point. The bloody plastic bit on that lid has just opened and dropped all my bike tools out of it. Wonderful! Oh, I have, um... I have listed a bike up for sale on Gumtree, not eBay. But I do seem to have more luck through... Gumtree than uh, anywhere else, to be honest. I'm not sure why. No replies, no. 
Let's go to Gumtree and I can assure you, because I don't know actually. Have I still got a photo on the desktop? And my browser minimizes. I have no DD. There it is. It's got some paint on the other side of the tyre, on the right side of the tyre, but I'm going to change that tyre anyway. There's a little bit on the frame, but not a lot really to worry about. I'm going to change the bar ends for some better ones because they look hideous. I don't think it's going to show up on camera, but there is some rust patches on there. I've got some better ones I can throw on. But apart from that, it rides, it starts, well, starts, it stops, the gears work. It's an oldish mountain bike because it's got the cantilever brakes, not the V-brakes. But uh, it's in good condition. It's quite a low frame as well, it's a 17 inch frame. And I actually don't often blow my own trumpet but I did guess that when um, I came up to get the tape measure. I thought that's got to be around about 17 inch. I was bang on, I couldn't believe it. Let's make sure that ad is live. Yep, it is live. That's alright then, I'll close that. What's going on on Facebook? Anything? Nope. Apart from people complaining that people won't sell their old cars that are rotting away on driveways. <laughs> you get a lot of that on these uh, classic car groups. Saw this today, knocked on the door, but the owner won't sell, asshole. Why is he an arsehole just because he won't sell his property? He's only an arsehole because you're pissed off because he won't sell it and you want to buy it. That's the only reason he's an arsehole. I'm not sure if it's... I mean, yeah, it's horrible to see classics sitting on a driveway just rotting away when you want to save it. I'm not arguing that, but to call him a name or something childish because they won't sell their property, it's theirs. There is no law that states they have to sell the car, you know. If they want to, if they bought it and want to keep it rotting away on, in their garden or on their driveway, it's up to them. There ain't fuck all we can do about it, is there? <coughs> I'd actually love to save some classic cars, but I don't have the cash to go around buying them. I don't have anywhere to put them either. I don't think Victory Housing would appreciate me putting um, rotten rust buckets over on the car park. <laughs> I think um, people might have something to say about that. If I had my own private yard, and like I said, the cash, then I probably would. I used to say, when I win the lottery, but I don't even play that anymore. I give up. It's not worth paying two pounds for it, no. I don't know why they had to put the price up. And that's per line, two pounds per line. It used to be one pound. I don't know the most I've ever won whenever I've played the lottery is ten pounds. I suppose nine pounds by the top because you'd get your one pound back that you spent on the ticket. <laughs> Oh, I've never played scratch cards though. Oh, that reminds me. Not long after um, I put the camera down last night, I saw um, reports of a large fire just the other side of Norwich City in a village called Seething, um, which turned out to be be a scrapyard fire. They couldn't confirm how many cars. At one point on the live feed it said 200 cars but I think that was just a, you know, a number they pulled out of their arse because they were guessing. Because that soon disappeared, that did, when they updated the um, report um, that had 10 fire engines in attendance plus all the usual specialist appliances like the command unit. The area ladder platform and whatnot, water carriers. Because, uh, you know, being in the middle of, well, not in the middle of nowhere, but being out in the countryside, there probably isn't any hydrants. Um, but the only thing I find a little bit odd, now this is probably a coincidence, probably just 
you know, innocent, but I still, when I think about it, I still find it very odd. In the last two or three weeks, there's been three scrapyard fires across Britain. I think this one is the only one we've had in this particular area. And I also find it odd that these scrapyard fires have started to, you know, happen just as the steel industry in Britain goes to shit. Because steel over here is still worth absolutely fuck all. <laughs> There's no value to it. Um, I know there's some scrap collectors still stockpiling it, I think, in the vain hope that... Bloody chair. In the vain hope that prices will increase, but... Pretty much if you're not weighing in cable, aluminium, copper, brass, lead or anything like that, then... It's not worth taking it down there. Um, actually, I believe... I don't know if it's changed, but it was what um, my local scrappy was calling free tip. You could take your scrap down there, but you won't get nothing for it. <laughs> Pretty much the same as if you went to the recycle centre and chucked your scrap in their scrap bin. You won't get nothing for it. Cameron still hasn't resigned, has he? Wanker, I wish he would. Yeah, how's that Dennis guy got sent out of the Houses of Parliament today for calling him Dodgy Dave? I want to shake that Dennis's hand for having the bollocks to stand there and speak his mind like that, you know? And actually call the Prime Minister names, you know? Which is something 99% of us, like, you know, me, you, Probably dream of saying, unless you're a Tory supporter, of course. You wouldn't. You'd probably support him, but... <laughs> Each to their own. Each to their own. Um, I'm not going to say I dislike people who support the Tories. It's more like I dislike what they support. <clears throat> I think that's the... Uh, fairest way I can put it. I know I might come across as uh, hating people who support Tories, but I don't. <clears throat> I may not like what they say, or what they do, or what they support, as I said, but I'm not much of a hateful person. I'm not actually sure if that's a bad thing or a good thing. You can see his ear, so you, um, you know who's on my lap. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's very smart, Nemo. You know, just bash my hand out of the way. Oh, dear. flat fire as well. I've got a friend on Facebook who's uh, an absolute fire service buff. I love the emergency services but he, he beats me. He's more of a nerd with it than I am. <laughs> and he's always on the live instant feed posting incidents up on Facebook and on um, a Facebook group he runs. Um, he just posted one about a flat fire Away, quite away from here, it's the other side of North City from here. Idiot UK drivers. Yeah. 
It was that train that hit a tractor yesterday. Um, apparently the tractor driver is serious but stable. Um, it was an unmanned level crossing. So I don't know if the tractor driver just... I swear those unmanned crossings have a little phone on them that you can... Um, uh, phone like the main control room for the trains and they'll tell you if it's cleared to cross or not because they obviously know where the trains are at what time. Um, so I don't know if he just didn't think to use it or if there wasn't one so he thought it was clear. But, uh, his tractor got hit, he's written the train off and it's written the tractor off. Well, the carriages with the broken windows. You can um, make them replace the windows if they want to. Um, but the actual engine part, the front part that hit it, is um, a total write-off. <laughs> so is the tractor. I think both the train driver and tractor driver are very lucky. I don't know if there's actually any photos with this article. Uh, I'll just open the article up and have a look. Um, oh, view photos, so there might be more photos. I'm not sure if the windows are designed to shatter like that, because it was like... A lot of the side windows down the length of the train shattered. I don't know if they all did, but it looks like a majority of them did. At least on the first carriage. I'll show you what I mean. Look, this is the first one. And they've, uh, excuse me, Nemo, I'm going to have to beat you off for a minute. And the windows are completely shattered. But I don't know if that's like a safety thing so they can break easily as an emergency escape. Oh, I've got the East Anglian Air Ambulance in attendance. Ah, these window here looks whole. That one's broken, so might have been just from the shock. Yes, like the first two there are gone. There's a close-up. Double glazed windows, ah! Ah oh, man, that's one of the bloody air-conditioned ones. There's lots of uh, non-related photos in this as well. No, it hasn't got the photo I wanted. I wanted one of the um, nose of the train. Well, there was another one today at a level crossing where um, someone was killed. A train hit a pedestrian. And unfortunately. So, yeah. Fire service was busy at that train crash yesterday as well. Busy day for the fire service. Excuse me. I thought I'd burp away from the camera so it wasn't as loud. <laughs> yeah. I'm just quickly scrolling down to see if I can... Uh... I'm using a chainsaw, the police are to enter the houses. It's all right for a wooden door like that one but may not be so good for a PVC door or the door that was on my first flat which actually had a metal skin over it. I know it did because um, the way that I, well I stuck a magnet to it. It's wooden on the inside but it had like this metal skin and that was a, another well after I moved out my neighbour and friend was still 
you know, living in his flat opposite, and he said, um, the police tried to knock it, the door in with uh, one of their baron ram things, and uh, apparently that was one hell of a pain in the ass to get the door open. <laughs> yes, I don't think a chainsaw would work on all doors. It would mine, but to be honest, because of the lock I've got on my door, you know, you can boot it open with your foot and it'll fly open. Well, probably not, but at least if they use their bloody um, door knocker, that'll come flying open anyway, because there's only a standard um, mortise lock. It's nothing special, a wooden door frame and a wooden door, so... That's... <clears throat> Oh, I haven't watched Rugrats in years. In years, in years, in years. Oh, I was in South Yorkshire. I want the local news, local stuff. Good lord, my French friend has just logged in. to move my elbow off the desk because that was hurting. Da -da -da -da. No, I don't think I'm going to find anything. The Killer Tomatoes. It's a group, by the way. <laughs> or a group in this area, music group, whatever you want to call them, band, I don't know. Squiggles! Most of those cars look uh, in good nick. Just a bit wilder, hang on. I can't enlarge the video because of the way it's embedded on here, but... Yeah, 11 o'clock last night. Yep. And 700 cars were burned. It looks like he's a breakers. I was like, still got a good stock. Hmm. Insurance payout, maybe? Who knows? Who cares? <laughs> Even if it was just done for insurance, who gives a fuck? <laughs> I saw that the other day when you posted it in Numna. Oh well, I don't think I'll be doing much else tonight. I might put some Netflix on and finish that up and finish scrapping some boards. And I could um, remove all those heat sinks from these, you know, way in the alley, because they're aluminium heat sinks. Uh, some of it is quite awkward to get off, to be honest. Ooh, big fuse. Ooh, I might need to find um, a prizey stick just to pop that off of there. There we go. Get off, bastard. Alright, there we go. You can see the pads there, well, I've removed some. A couple there, there's a few large ones there. Could remove things like these chokes and things, but I doubt I'll ever use anything like that. I only want, you know, I only want a collection of capacitors because uh, I want to start fixing things. And this is actually one of the most common parts that um, go kaput. And I did salvage these um, five watt resistors as well. I did want them for a project build. Well, I think it was 5 watt resistors I needed. I'll have to double check the video. Um, there's a lot of things that aren't actually worth 
salvaging, you know, like little resistors in there because you can fucking get packs of them cheap enough. They're cheap as chips, quite literally. Uh -huh. A lot of surface mount stuff. I wonder if that's a fusible resistor sitting in there. 220 kilo ohms. No markings on it, but it's actually got the value written on it. Mm, I think I've got a relay or two in here as well. Yeah, I've got that relay. Ooh, 254 AC. Cool. You have a smell of tin like this. Oh, all that electronic smell. Right. <laughs> Yeah, apart from a few more capacitors, I can't really see anything I want to um, salvage. Maybe that, because that's a weird little thing. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do that thing for the rest of the evening. So, uh... Thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to like, if you liked the video of course, and uh, subscribe and leave a comment, I do like reading comments, I value everyone's opinion, so uh, yeah, thanks a lot and I'll talk to you again soon, bye.